kids welcome to my channel the asaj it is story today i will like to read another story which is called zog madam dragon ran a school many moons ago she taught young dragons all the things that dragons need to know zog the biggest dragon was the keenest one by far he tried his hardest every day to win a golden star all the dragons in year 1 were learning how to fly hi said madam dragon we up in the sky now that you have been shown you can practice on your own and you all be expert flyers by the time you are fully grown Zog went off to practice flying fast and free. He soared and swooped and the loop the loop then crashed into a tree. Just then a little girl came by. "Oh, please don't cry," she said. "Perhaps you do like a nice sticky plaster for your head." What a good idea," said Zog. Then up and off he flew. His plaster gleamed pinkly as he zigzagged through the blue. A year went by, and in year two, the dragons learned to roar. Roar," said Madam Dragon. "Louder, I implore. Now that you have been shown, you can practice on your own." and you will all be champion roles by the time you are fully grown sok went off to practice he roared with fearsome force he kept it up for hours on end but that is thought grew hoarse just then the girl came by again she said what rotten luck Perhaps you do like a nice soothing peppermint to suck. What a good idea," said Zog. Then up and off he flew, and breathing fumes of peppermint, he zigzagged through the blue. A year went by, and in year three, dragons learned to blow. No," said Madam Dragon. Breathe out fire, not snow. Now that you have been shown, you can practice on your own, and you will all be breathing bonfires by the time you are fully grown. Zog went off to practice. He blew with all his might. He twirled around in triumph, and his wings tipped caught a light. Just then the girl came by again. She said, "You poor old thing. Perhaps you like a nice stretchy bandage for your wing." What a good idea," said Zog. Then up and off he flew, his bandage flapping wildly as he zigzagged through the blue. All the year four dragons were learning. Can you guess? How to capture princess? Now you do that. You have been shown you can practice on your own. You will need to capture hundreds by the time you are fully grown. Sog went off to practice. He tried and tried and tried, but simply he couldn't manage. I'm no good at this. He cried. I will never win a golden star. Just then he saw the girl. Perhaps she said, "You would like to capture me? I am Princess Paul." What a good idea. Said so. Then up and off they flew, the princess gripping tightly as they zigzag through the blue. Ah, oh, said Madam Dragon. Our first princess so far. Congratulations, Zog, my dear. You have won a golden star. So 
Bob was proud and happy, and Bird felt good as well. She took the dragon's temperatures and nursed them when they fell. A year went by, and in year five, the dragons learned to fight. Why? said Mad Dragon. Here comes a real knight. Up spoke the knight. My name, he said, is Garabot the Great. I have come to rescue Princess Pearl. I hope I am not too late. Shock breathed fire and beat his pink wings. You cannot. She is mine, he wrote. Oh no, she is not. He had got about and waved his trusty sword. The other dragons crowded round and watched them all agog. Who was going to win the fight? Sir Garabout or Zog? Then Princess Pearl stepped forward, crying, Stop! You silly chums! The world's already far too full of cuts and burns and bumps. Don't rescue me! I won't go back to being a princess! And prancing round the palace in a silly free dress. I want to be doctor and travel here and there, listening to people's chests and giving them my care. Me too, exclaimed the knight and took his helmet off his head. I'd rather wear a nice twisty stethoscope, he said. Perhaps, princess, you will train to me. And princess Paul replied, Of course, but I don't see how the two of us could fit upon your horse. And Zog said, Flying doctors, I'd love to join the crew. If you will let me your ambulance, then I can carry you. Carrier and all the three fire dragons gave a loud resounding cheer. Then Madam Dragon told the house, I really hope you will stay. I will let you be my pupil's pet and fetch you a lot of hay. What a good idea, said so. Then up and off he flew. The flying doctors waving as they zigzag through the blue. At the end of the story, I'd like to say thanks to all viewers and my subscribers for supporting us. Please keep subscribing, liking, sharing my channel, the SH80 story. Please take care of yourself and I will see you again. Bye.